The ice cream man arrested nearly a decade ago for a deadly shooting spree will have to wait even longer to learn if he'll spend the rest of his life in prison. A hung jury led to a mistrial in the state's case against Michael Keatley. Eight on your side, Justin Shecker has been covering this trial for us. So, Justin, what was the mood in the courtroom today when the judge declared this mistrial? Dejected and disappointed, Keith. That's how the victim's mother and survivors of that shooting appeared in the courtroom. Michael Keatley, on the other hand, did not have much of a reaction on his face. We know he's maintained his innocence all these years waiting in the county jail. His defense attorney told me they live to fight another day. By law, it is a now a mistrial. For Michael Keatley, no verdict. For the victims, no justice. Uh, now it's time for us to uh, regroup a little bit take the hung jury into consideration and determine how we can prove to a jury beyond a reasonable doubt what we know to be true. Keatley spoke with eight on your side after getting shot during a robbery of 12 bucks at his ice cream truck in January 2010. His obsession with revenge, according to the state's case, led him to the Thanksgiving shooting spree at this Ruskin home. While there is a lot of strong evidence tying him to the scene, the preparation that he did, the ballistics evidence, um, there were weaknesses with some of the identifications. That weakness became a strength of the defense, along with casting doubt that Keatley could physically pull the trigger. I believe that we poked the holes into the state's case through our cross-examination and our presentation of our witnesses. In an unusual twist, Keatley waived his right to a closing argument. That is your decision. That is my decision. Yes, sir. Attorney Leanne Gowdy stands by that decision. Because it isn't about me and what I want to do in performing. It's about my client and what's in his best interest. The mother of slain brothers Sergio and Juan Guitron sat through the three-week trial, telling it on your side she was keeping a promise to her sons. It's really difficult for victims and their families as they go through this process. The wheels of justice unfortunately spin slowly, but we do move forward. And the state will move forward with prosecuting its case again. A new trial date for Michael Keatley has been set for May. Live outside the Hillsborough County Courthouse, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.